What is up, y'all? Welcome to The WAN Show. We've got a fantastic show lined up for you this week. Our main topics of discussion are going to be... What is USB 4 2.0? I don't even want to know. That is not how versioning... That's illegal. ...version numbering works. And also, LTT has actually completed. Okay, it is, it is shot now. We have completed our first major like big sponsorship of like an s tier youtuber yeah yeah what? we do we do sponsorships for other youtubers now so i'm going to be talking about that what else we got today that's wacky what isn't wacky is ryzen 7000 and intel trying to say that uh you know arc is better than nvidia at ray tracing so uh, they have never claimed anything in the past that ended up being skewed. So I'm sure this is purely accurate. Shows brought to you by Squarespace, Vulture, and Secret Lab. All right. I think the first thing we're going to have to dig into this week is, um, oh, the slightly different format for the show. I'm really hungry, and Belle's hungry, and Luke was indifferent, so we ordered food. So we're going to get through our tech topics a little bit faster, and we're going to save our merch messages for a little bit later in the show. So if you guys haven't picked up a screwdriver or a backpack or an RGB hoodie or a short circuit hoodie like the one I'm wearing or anything else that's on the store, and you wanted to order one now and send in a merch message, Belle's going to be curating everything throughout the show, but we're going to get to them later. We're going to push them a little bit further out which means we are going to jump right into usb4 2.0 oh. that's right ladies and gentlemen the usb uh what is it usb forum usb promoter group can you they they have they're they on a mission they're on a mission to make me angry because there is no other possible reason that i can imagine for this naming scheme to exist this is not how versioning works. If I like you... to think, I like to think that someone there knows that and is driving for change. But this one time was like, actually, we need this sequence of numbers. And they made it happen. What? They wanted 420. What do you even? Oh, my God. They well, did then it for they the could have just made it version 4.20. And even that would have been stupid because it appears True. to be a pretty significant upgrade. We're oh, going yeah. from 40 gigabit per second to 80 gigabit per second. To be clear, I am not upset about the technology. It sounds actually like really solid. You do need an active cable uh, for, the, for that 80 gigabit per second. It's, uh, it's max on passive is 40 gigabit, but that's still, still pretty crazy. It's only USB type C, which, which is what's going to happen. I'm matter of time. Yeah, I'm matter of time. Yeah. Um, I'm so angry. It includes new features, such as a bandwidth boost beyond 20 gigabit per second for USB 3.2 data tunneling when using alt mode, such as DisplayPort mode, and has been updated to feature the latest versions of the DisplayPort standard and PCIe spec, which, remember, is important because USB 4 is now essentially Thunderbolt, which was able to carry PCIe connections. That's how you can hook up an external GPU and stuff like that. It is backwards compatible with previous revisions, including the original USB 4 standard, which has barely even made it to life at yeah. this point. Yeah. USB 3.2, USB 2.0, and Thunderbolt 3. And our discussion question is, faster is always better. <laughs> but why do they keep using these confusing naming schemes? I might have an answer for that. I'm going to have to try to dig it up. Capes in Floatplane Chat says that the USB spec naming is meant for developers and not consumers, and that we should refer to Benson Leung's, hopefully I said that right, response in the USB... C hardware. USB-C hardware subreddit. I legitimately almost said chardware. Names? Sorry, what? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. All right, Benson. I don't like that, personally. My... I don't see why developers need a worse naming scheme. Um, I would like to try to find this thread. Can, can someone post 
I think I've yeah. I think I've probably got it. USB Promoter Group announces USB four ver- this is great. That's it. It has 163 comments and 48 upvotes. <laughs> That's usually a good sign. <laughs> the top up <laughs> Oh, this is great. Uh uh, log into different. No, I don't want to log in. I don't okay, care. Okay, I found I found the post. Okay. USB does have branding professionals. Hint: This announcement is about a spec version bump, which is a technical document, not a branding document. Here's what my guess is on the branding will be for gear with the new speed USB four eighty gigabit per second. Why USB 4 2.0? Why not USB 5? Why not USB 4.1? Why not literally anything else? Like there is there is no continuity whatsoever. We had USB 1. Then we got 1.1. If I recall, there was a 1.1A. Hold on. All the versions of USB. Here we go. Okay, 1.1. Okay, 1.0 apparently was like never really a thing. This is from Triplate though, so I have no idea how accurate this is. You, oh my God, We're, just show me the table. Okay, so we got, here we go, here we go. Triplate provides this, uh, this chart. 1.1, this was full speed USB uh, introduced in 1998, all right? You had your USB A, you had your USB B. That was for your scanner, all right? We had scanners back then. Okay, that was that was a peripheral. We had our printers, we had our scanners. Combine them, black magic. Not till later. Okay, then we had USB two, high speed. <laughs> Who would think? What what would you think is faster, high speed or full speed? Help me out here, Luke. Hmm. <laughs> full speed? Yeah, I would think yeah, so too. It's maximum. Unfortunately, right? full speed is like one fortieth the speed of high speed. Oh. Yeah. Okay, okay. Whatever. Darn. Came a mere two years later. So yeah, it went a lot faster, and that merited, uh, you know, a spec bump. Okay. Then we went from four hundred eighty megabit per second. Okay. So we six x the excuse me ten x the speed again to five gigabit, and that was in two thousand eight, whopping eight years later. This was USB three point which I think has since been renamed to 3.1 Gen 1 Super Speed. Okay, then things get really messy. USB 3.1 doubled the speed over USB 3.0 and was originally called USB 3.1. Then it was changed to USB 3.1 Gen 2 Super Speed Plus. Holy f***ing Okay, then... Then we got USB 3.2 super speed, which I think is, yes, now called USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2. Oh, no, right. No, no, no. These were former names, right? Gen 1. Now it's USB 3.2 Gen 1. Okay. 3.2 Gen 2 by 2, and that's 20 gigabit per second. I, I really enjoyed that one. I remember that launch. Oh, my God. Oh, it's fantastic. Then we got USB 4, which was also known as USB 4 Gen 2 by 2. 2 or USB 4 20 gigabit? Wait, what? 20 gigabit? I thought... It, oh, oh my God. Okay, so USB 4, this is where things get really complicated because USB 4 has optional components to the spec. You don't have to... You can be USB 4 without being 40 gigabit per second. So here we've got USB 4 20 gigabit. Okay, so that came in 2019, does up to 20 gigabit. Then we got USB 4, which is Gen 3 by 2, which does 40 gigabit and might also do like... PCIe and stuff, uh, assuming you have a compliant cable. All okay, of this was so preventable. There's some uh, there's some posts actually in response to TechLinked. Uh, so Laughing Man or Benson Leung, the the person that we're finding comments from and stuff, responded to a TechLinked Twitter post, a tweet, some would say. Um, and there are more comments from him on the Reddit thread. Uh Um, there's, there's a few different comments on Reddit. They're all saying roughly the same thing. Um, where's the other one? The main thing is what I kind of already said though on Twitter. Um, someone responded to TechLinked by saying, Ben Mitchell responded to TechLinked by Uh saying, oh my God, can they just stick to the naming scheme please and stop renaming old standards? 
Benson Leung, also known as Laughing Man, said, no, because people, and then in brackets, developers, spec writers, and others work on these spec documents. These are living standards and having a sensible version numbering scheme is required. Someone responded to that uh, by saying, this is not a sensible version numbering scheme, uh, <laughs> which got 23 likes. He responded, um, Luke with the play by play here. All right. The I likes are, the up. likes are interesting. The tech link post got a bunch of likes. The first response gets 68. Benson responds gets three. Someone go up. By the way, can one person go like that 68 one? Thanks. Nice. Yeah. Perfect. Um, yeah. Bryce responds gets 23. Benson responds again gets two. So, okay. That, that isn't, that doesn't mean he's right or anything. It's just, or it's, wrong. People aren't happy about it um he says uh it absolutely is in reference to not a sensible uh, version numbering scheme uh -huh. he says the usb developers announced the version 1.0 release of the usb4 spec oh in 2019 sorry i missed that part right but... um, three years have passed and a new version is about to be released based on the same usb4 technologies it makes sense to go from version 1.0 to 2.0 but if it's the same USB 4 technologies, then why the actual living f is it not just USB 4.1? Yep. Yep. You know, like how you did it before. Yep. Remember that, USB promoter group? Remember when you did that? Remember when USB 3.0 became USB 3.1 because it was based on the same underlying technology but made it go more faster and had some new features? Do you remember that? I also don't even mind multiple decimal points. Have you seen that in some versioning? Yeah. They'll do like mm -hmm. ma major, minor, micro or whatever. I'd rather have a letter at that point, personally, DisplayPort style. Um. The pro okay, DisplayPort has made some mistakes though, if I recall correctly. Oh no, no, HDMI has done it. This HDMI one point something B was like a huge upgrade from because really okay. If it's going to end up facing the consumer, you can't just wash your hands of it and go, well, this is intended for developers. It's not my fault that consumers are confused. He's because saying you know. it, he's saying it won't. What? Of course it will. He he said it always a, does. He said I agree. He's he so I'm just making sure that I say his arguments. He he's saying that it 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 won't and shouldn't. Uh because there will be official branding and that official branding is USB 4 80 gigabit per second. Or 80 gigabit. The problem is that that's not what's going to end up being presented. For sure. Yep. And like meanwhile, you've got the HDMI group actively making it harder to tell what is implemented on a product. You've got the USB group adding ambiguity layers on Major top of ambiguity yeah. layers, okay, with optional parts of the specification and no 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 clear actual like line in the sand for what qualifies as USB number point number. So some, someone just said what I was trying to say better. It's called semantic versioning. And it goes major minor patch. I actually I've never minded that personally. Sure. Because you, you could have like, okay, so the, the, let's use Windows, who have not done a good job of this, but let's use Windows. Let's say we're on Windows 15. So you have Windows 15. That's your first number, 15. Sure. Dot, and then you have major version releases. Well, why don't we just use a Windows that used this? Windows 3 point one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So major update sure. is the point one. And then any little tiny fixes, whatever, they can get slammed under at the very bottom decimal point. Sure. No one really cares, but they're there because they matter. Right. But like the average users aren't going to care. And that's completely fine. That works for... I've never really seen anyone complain about that naming scheme. I, I'm not saying it's the best. I'm not saying it's the most marketable, whatever, but it works. It's very functional. What's marketable is what can be understood from my point of view. It should describe at least it, like, okay, you, you can criticize Intel all day for their opaque processor numbering schemes, especially once you make your way out of the, like the mainline enthusiast skews into some of the weird low power stuff or some of the embedded stuff that they do. But at least every digit has mostly some kind of meaning to it. Like you could, if you had a, a legend, you could interpret it, right? Whereas USB just has no clear 
it just has no cl- like well, going from three to four didn't have a speed increase. Okay, it didn't even have an interface change. They're both USB C. So what was the difference? I mean, I know the difference. There were a lot of technological innovations between USB 3 and USB 4. But then why did you allow this half, half-ass half implementation that wasn't 40 gigabit per second for USB 4? Like, I just... Uh, I'm, I'm struggling here. I'm struggling. At lo- as long as it's consistent, I can kind of get behind it. But any other time, it really does feel like that you are kind of the worst. you are confusing consumers for mm-hmm. a reason. Like you know when, um, oh man, like you'll see you'll see like a, a GPU maker go from three digit numbers to four digit numbers when and and you particularly see these things happen when they don't have anything particularly innovative to show. Yeah, there is there is some people I I have, I I want to make sure I'm defending. Uh, Benson Leung right now because there are some people saying like oh they they like they promised or they said that it would be USB 4 80 gigabit per second they're still saying that and he's still saying that that's going to be the the marketing or branding version um this weird one that I already forgot USB 4 version 2.0 is a theoretically a developer only branding thing the problem with this is it's not only has it already hit a lot of consumers yeah um, but it's going to hit many more and will very likely be a part of the branding of certain products um so mm -hmm. because companies are going to start designing developing planning these products like now um and they're just not going to get updated we've seen it happen a ton of times so yeah i'm really frustrated let's move on though that's just enough being being angry uh, do you want to 